When I first thought about coming to this camp, I was thinking that it would be uh, boring and like every other camp, but as soon as I got here, you realise that it's actually quite the best experience that you could have. This weekend, we had the 16 and 17 year old youth members uh, camp, which is really aimed at increasing our engagement with those coming from juniors into that 16 and 17 year old age group and uh, really trying to engage with them, finding out what skills they have and increasing the participation of our brigades. All the, uh, the young people or our young members, 16 and 17 year olds arrived on Friday night with the leaders just that team building, getting to go out of our comfort zone, see what uh, is comfortable to our uh, members out there. Following on from that, obviously on Saturday, we are at uh, Vemtech at Central Highlands, where we did numerous activities with uh, volunteer instructors and the pad operators, anything ranging from fire extinguishers all the way through to the gas props, uh, running fuel fire, virtual reality as well there, just to uh, increase the engagement of our younger people. They have some amazing skills out there just being able to watch the networking and the relationship develop between those 16 and 17 year old cohort from our big structural brigades through to the smaller bushfire brigades that don't have many call outs. It was also great to see Acting Chief Officer Gary Cook uh, was also there wearing breathing apparatus with some of our younger members of actually crawling on the ground with those. So it was fantastic to be able to have that opportunity for our younger members uh, to be able to build the skills, relationship, and having that acting chief officer there was great. Also, Natalie McDonald also participating in the end of the activity with all the cadets being involved in two different groups with the running fuel fire. So just having the chief executive officer of CFA, the acting chief officer as well, was great to see and enhance those relationships even more. The final drill of the day there actually involved our uh, pad operators, instructors, and the chaperones as well there being able to show off some of their skills or maybe even lack of skills there to our uh, young members there. So they got a bit of indication of what was going to happen with them. They were further divided up into two different groups there, being able to utilise those skills that actually learned of hose bowling, extinguisher work, breathing apparatus, numerous things, but being able to work as a team. And it was very much working as a team and developing those relationships even further that they'd had between those structural brigades that members had come from all the smaller brigades as well and utilising and learning from each other. On the Sunday, it was absolutely great there. We did a lot more team building activities. So we did anything from orientation through to the giant swing, which was quite amazing. And then also bike riding as well. So it was just amazing to see our younger members, that 16, 7 year old age group, even increase their skills, our relationships even further. And uh, yeah, being able to um, share that networking. When juniors were turning 16, we, we seen a lot of drop off between 16 and 17 year olds. So to engage them and keep them engaged in the CFA and the activities, so the youth program was introduced, or also known as cadet program. A highlight for me this weekend was the smoke room, where we get to go into a room full of smoke and use uh, the thermal imaging cameras. I really enjoyed it because it heightened every single one of my senses other than the sight. A highlight for me this weekend was definitely going to Vemtech. I loved working with our team and putting out the fires. It's something completely different and new. A highlight for me this weekend was definitely getting the opportunity to go to Vemtech, which we don't often get. And I really love being able to put BA on and experience, you know, walking around, moving, going through, you know, a fake house with that. And the big swing was really good too. A highlight for me this weekend was going to Vemtech and we went and experienced BA through a simulated house and we went and learnt how to use the ticks inside of a structure. A highlight was hanging out with mates at Vemtech, getting to expand on our boundaries and explore how far our boundaries were actually pushed, doing things such as the BA rooms, the ticks and playing on the gas pads. After coming on last year's camp, being here to be able to see all those old friends as well as meeting new people was really enjoyable just to be able to make those connections and have a good time with everybody. Here at this camp, you're working with people very similar age to you. It's very different to what you may experience at your own brigade, being probably the only person, or if not the only person, a very small amount of people at your age, and you're very confused on what to do and can be very overwhelming. Here, you are surrounded by people your own age, and it's much more comfortable because you have a very, very similar skill set to everyone else. My highlight has absolutely been seeing all of the young people get together and especially those that didn't start off knowing each other throughout the course of the camp and the activities, they all came together 
and really supported each other, especially at Vemtech, seeing them all in operational drills and activities, really supporting each other through activities that they may be outside of their comfort zone and really seeing them grow as people and full-fledged members of CFA. If you're thinking about coming to the camp, I would highly recommend it. It's great fun. You get to do pretty much everything with live fire and the new friendships and things you can form is just amazing. Thank you.